Slaughter by Kid Decadence. KD Decadence? KD Decadence. Let's go with that. Um, and so I got instructions on the right here, but uh, let's first say, hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're looking at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Instructions slaughter all monsters and leave the room at the right. Controls up to attack. Press rapidly. Rapidly. See? It even says, in fact, oh, let's just move this, right? Yeah. Uh, left and right arrows to move down a block. And yes. Oh, and then we added the uh, global high score and made the game more difficult. So there we, my two favorite things. Ways to keep track of what everybody else is doing and ways to just make the game harder. Okay, so it's like this, huh? Like, is it like super rapid? Because I have, I have the, the, I have a twitchy arm if I really want. I can just do this all day. See, look at this. I just spam that button and I'm good to go. Although I'm, I'm taking damage. I'm, yeah, I took some damage. <laughs> I took some real damage there. How do I uh, just... There we go. So maybe I should be a little more... Because there's also the whole blockage thing that I should be aware of. I mean, can these guys... I don't think the non-weaponed guys can even hurt me. So then I can just kind of run through everybody and then I'm good to go. Oh, whoa. Wow, those guys take cause a lot of damage, don't they? I guess that's when they're swinging down. And so I'm blocking right now. Right? And then I guess I can just kill everybody. Yes. And then wait. And then, yeah. Oh, pfft. oh and then I just instantly die and then we go and then we kill so I'm realizing that there is in fact a little bit of well there's some amount of strategy to this game you know some amount wait for it okay there we go oh man I still took damage I guess you just can't be in the way of the axe for the most part and I don't feel like I got that hard Ah oh, man. Okay. Well, it's. I still have not completed, gotten better, a better score than the time I just kind of spammed everything, and, and then we went good to go, and everything was hunky dory, fine and dandy, and multiplier effects and everything, and then well, at least I beat my old score. So that's the game, I guess. Um, huh. You know, I'm just. Oh, you got to kill everybody, huh? Are you sure you can't just hold? Yeah, you can't hold it down. And then something just immediately kills you. It's just, ugh, I don't know. Something does that. And it just doesn't sit right with me, I guess. Oof, and then, yeah, just sudden death. But that's the game, I guess. And then it's just, so you really do slaughter, and it's just fast paced and everything. Um, and I'm not really sure how high you're. I guess global high score is for a one person, not like for just me. The global high score is, it continues to be where it is, and there's really nothing else with anyone else. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I gotta get beat by old high score. Alright, I beat it. Yeah, we keep going until, I don't know, I die again, I guess. Man, it's hard to hold this for a long time. <laughs> Especially because, well, that's not really my tennis arm. I was about to say because I played tennis, but it's not even my tennis arm, so, you know. Oh, and then I just died. But whatever, I got to 95. That's pretty good, right? I thought that was okay. So, yeah, that's the game. Uh, I don't think it's much roguelike-y. I mean, certainly the attack and block seems to have use, but the enemy is completely hard to... And also, I don't even know what's killing me. I think it's the fact that the axe pixel is on my body and just kind of manages to be there for a few seconds. And you just instantly take damage in this game. So there's really no uh, invincibility frames, so to speak. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool, and you just go back and forth. And I could see this, this working, especially if you added kind of a vertical element to the game and jumping around and kind of avoiding... You know, going for more of a Red Rogue style, where you have this this idea of, of kind of jumping down on an enemy to stun them and things like that and trying to avoid it that way. Um, so yeah, I guess just check out my Red Rogue playthrough on how to make this more uh, roguelike and I would say generally more enjoyable and replayable. Um, but I mean, it's neat. It's it's certainly the first one I've seen in this entire competition, so there's something to say for that. Um, anyway, this has been Game Hunter playing Slaughter, and join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 7-Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. 
Until then, watch these happy guys dance around. And keep playing those roguelikes. And take care.